hello and welcome back to the channel guys this is liquid ocelot guys today i'm going to show you how to play metal gear solid 4 guns of the patriot a playstation 3 game on rpcs3 emulator for pc so the link is in the description box for rpcs3 um, you can download windows linux or mac os once you have downloaded and installed the latest version you you have to go to this main this website and copy these configurations uh, GPU configuration advanced configuration and once you have done that uh, and set set it up in the uh, in this uh, configuration go to the patches copy them and then go to uh, uh, this uh, this they have patches folder inside rpcs3 and patch.yml open it with notepad and at the end of the notepad just paste this whole thing inside of it this whole thing till the end inside of it similarly after doing this copy this one as well from here till the end till the end till here and once you have done it just paste it paste it uh, till the end and save and close down the notepad so once you have done that my friends uh, uh, just uh, just op go to your rpcs3 the metal gear solid 4 game op uh, right click it and uh, you have to check this patches uh, patches game compatibility game uh, uh, create custom configuration yes M manage game patches here it is my friends click it and you can see these options now they'll tell you that you have new uh, options installed and patches installed and they'll tell you that the new update is available so don't download this update my friends or every setting will be messed out and I'll go to the second option and just check mark all of these things because I am running a very low specs uh, system uh, 670 MX laptop look at this my laptop has 670 MX from Nvidia and third generation i7 and later I'm going to show you that even with these such low specs uh, specifications I can run Metal Gear Solid 4 I was shocked after testing so after doing this my friends what you need to do is uh, uh, test uh, uh, go to this website link is in the description box this is the firmware my friends for playstation 3 system firmware from playstation.com just download it right click and save link yes and download it my friends once you have downloaded it go to rpcs3 uh, file file and click install firmware once you install it find this ps3 update.pub and open it it will install the firmware once you are done with the, all of these settings my friends uh, you need to do be very careful now now what you need to do is uh, go to your rpcs3 and uh, you need to find uh, you need to find this uh, folder think it's um ty dot log yes this folder my friends this folder rpcs3 dot log folder this is the folder my friends it always updates itself so let's open it it's it's saying that it cannot be opened let's open it with notepad yes the process cannot as a file because it is being used by another uh, process what we are going to do my friends is I am going to close this one close this one and I am going to open it now and it has all your information look at this my friends I am going to zoom in just to show you guys this is a very very important step for newbies uh, i7 third generation look my systems specification windows 10 
and um, RPCS3 uh, version and GPU also I think it's given the GPU is also given and all the information system information is given inside of it Metal Gear Solid 4 information is also given inside of it so you are going to find this for this log and convert it into uh, uh, a RAR file or a zip file once you are done with that my friends all you have to do is go to uh, this website link is in the description box official rpcs3 um, uh, discord server and thanks for master turkey another youtuber he helped me with this go to help section and just paste your issue over here paste this uh, rar file or a zip file over here and people over here will help you out with the configuration with everything my friends if you are running into any problems so uh, this will run the game smoothly my friends your game will be running smoothly now let me show you proof my friends now you will be saying that I'm a charlatan I don't have any proof or something so I'll show you the proof my friends <coughs> <coughs> I'll click play now the first time when it is booted the PPU modules will take uh, from three hours to six seven hours depending on your system it took me seven to eight hours to be honest so you'll have to be very patient and wait for it wait for the PPU modules to uh, uh, to uh, to build up the game for you and then you can easily play the game it is very fast my friends it is very very fast now you will see see yes this is option press X I'll press X and Metal Gear Solid 4 logo is showing now loading is showing my friends it's showing my friends look at it Metal Gear Solid 4 Konami logo is showing you see I told you the right method didn't I I didn't scam you or something please please my friends help me uh, with this video share this video with as much people as possible support this video my friends because we need a new Metal Gear Solid game or a remastered game a remastered Metal Gear Solid 4 maybe this is a wonderful opportunity for us my friends a Metal Gear Solid 4 remastered perhaps or remake from Konami Konami officially announced that they are working uh, on announcing a title in 2023 between so it's taking some time my friends and um, I'll wait a bit but it will show something my friends the menu screen is showing that's that's for sure so so guys thank you for watching the video uh, my specs are low uh, I don't expect to run this game on fast settings but I won't give up uh, maybe I make a part 2 of this video if somebody helps me with the log files and stuff like that I have already applied for that and um, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think my friends um, the technology has been updated for RPCS3 for support of Metal Gear Solid 4 Guns of the Patriots and uh, this is commander liquid ocelot my friends and subscribe to the youtube channel press the bell notification bar for future updates thanks for watching my friends take care